Good evening, Tubo. So, I've actually been asked by my friend Chaddy to make a quick little beginner's guide for Fallout 4 because he's brand new to the game and he kind of wants to get a glimpse into how to play it, what to do, what to expect, all that kind of stuff. But I thought actually I'm going to do just a general beginner's guide for everyone. So, what I've done is I've come up with what I think are the most important top 12 tips. And I'm going to go over them in a little bit of detail so you know exactly what to do in the game, what to expect and how best to play it, how best to get you know your, your best gameplay out of it. I'm really, really enjoying Fallout. I put a load more hours into this game last night and I'm starting to get a little bit somewhere through the story now and I have to say the game is just getting better and better. Now this guide is more of a general gameplay guide, it's not going to be about crafting or building. I've already done a building guide so if you want to go back and have a look at that one that's already up on the channel, have a look at that, I'll go into the building, your first base in a bit of detail, what to do, how to get all your resources, what to build first, how to defend yourself, all that kind of fun stuff. So go back have a look at that if you're not quite sure how to build stuff or if you haven't had a chance to get around to it yet so you can actually see what to do so you know straight away what you've got to do before getting in and getting overwhelmed with it and not really having a clue what to do. Crafting as well, this guide is not going to cover crafting, I'm going to do that in a separate guide, probably going to be putting that one out tomorrow or late tonight, depends when I get time to do it. So if you're not sure about all the crafting stuff, keep an eye out, subscribe to the channel, you'll get obviously made known as soon as that guide goes out, but that's going to be all about armor, power armor, weapons, all that kind of stuff for crafting, modifications and everything for that. So first thing first in this guide is what I think is the most important are your perks and skills. So your perks are your special abilities so if you're building for a melee character obviously put points into strength, endurance uh, and then space them out between that. If you're building just a general character you want to put a few points in pretty much everything kind of just balance them out really. I, what I would suggest is put a few more points into intelligence because this will actually give you a little bit more experience every time you do something. So you do a quest, you kill anything, it will actually give you a little bit more experience points. So obviously more experience points you're going to be leveling up a lot quicker. Use this uh, perk system to actually build the character that you want though. So obviously if you're looking at making a really charismatic can convince anyone to do anything kind of character put all your points into charisma and then space out the rest what you want to try and do is really get to at least three points for every single thing so you your character is pretty balanced you don't want to be getting stuck short somewhere if you do manage to mess it up though don't worry because right at the end of the introduction you can actually go back over and change it all to how you want it to be Going into your actual abilities, have a good look through the list because there's loads and loads of abilities. There's 10 for each special uh, so each special ability, so each special actual perk. So you've got 10 for strength, 10 for perception, endurance, vice versa, or vice versa, and so on and so on. I mean, so just have a good look through the actual perk chart, see what perks you want to be picking up first. I would suggest picking up perks that are going to increase your health, your damage resistance and your uh, carry weights because you are going to be picking up loads and loads of stuff which I'm going to cover in a second. But focus on those three first and then look at increasing your damage and all your other skills over time. Um, you get one perk per level so every time you level up you will be able to unlock another perk on this chart. Moving on to... The next tip, this is your health and radiation. So this is your health bar. Right now I'm showing you on the screen, your body is broken into six different parts. Each of these parts can be damaged and then your total health is there at the bottom left of your pit boy. Now stim packs and rad away. Stim packs will recover your health. Rad aways will get rid of radiation. I will show you the bar in a minute as your when you go into combat you actually have your health bar pop up if you have red on that health bar it will actually that's how that it limits your health to that point what the red is is the radiation so if you've picked up radiation from either eating food which you can do to recover health um, jumping in water generally is a good way of getting radiated or anything like that as you can see now my health will only increase to that red line so I've actually lost that certain amount of health 
to get rid of the red bit, just use a rad away and then use a stim pack to actually recover your health. If you use a lot of food, then obviously you're going to be getting radiated quite a fair bit. So I would suggest not using it unless you really, really have to. If you cook food, it is generally better for you than stuff that you just find out in the world. So just keep that in mind. So moving on from that, the next thing I have to tell you to do is literally scavenge every single item you find in this world. Everything has got a purpose, everything you can use for crafting later on. So absolutely everything, whether it be a coffee cup, a toaster, whatever, pick it up. I know it's going to take up room in your inventory, but hopefully you've unlocked a couple perks to actually increase your carry weight. Make sure you pick up every single item that you can. I really cannot stress this enough. Everything is useful. Everything can either be broken down into resources or it can be used straight off the bat and actually used as a modification itself. I promise you, you will not regret picking up everything. It's like they're gonna put you over your carry weight, but that is where the next tip comes into play. The next tip is use your companion. Once you unlock a companion, then make sure you are loading them up as much as you can. To do this, talk to your companion, then press trade, and then literally just give them everything that you want them to carry. I'm not sure if your companions actually do have their own carry weight, but it doesn't actually show you anywhere that they do, so I'm assuming they don't. So literally offload every single bit of crap that you don't need into your companion, and then move on to the next tip. But just make sure every single item you, that you can do without. So don't give them any weapons you're using, obviously. Just offload all your crap onto your companion. When you're back in town, like we are now, go into one of your crafting stations and press transfer. Now you can actually store all your junk. And then you can actually store all the armor and weapons that you're not currently using as well. But you have to do these manually. These aren't actually tied to anything. So you have to actually put those in manually what you want to dump in there. Make sure you talk to your companion to get all the crap off them as well and store all that stuff. So moving away from all that kind of stuff, what you want to be looking at doing with all your weapons, especially when you start getting a few, is using your quick weapons or your favorite weapons. And that is actually going to allow you to very quickly move over to one weapon from another. Always carry a melee weapon as well, so if you get into close quarters, then obviously you can just pull out a tire iron or a baseball bat, whatever you've got, and then just give people a smack around the head and save yourself a little bit of ammo. Moving on from quick weapons, make sure you have a variety of weapons as well. Each weapon will use a certain kind of bullet or round, so pistols, rifles, miniguns, laser weapons, they all use different rounds, just make sure that you've got a huge variety and you're using your quick slots as much as you can obviously with different weapons. If you're focusing on just using pistols and they're all using the same kind of caliber round, obviously you are going to be absolutely blitzing through those rounds. So make sure that you are using different kinds of rounds uh, in different weapons. Moving on. Next thing, when it's dark, use your torch. I found this out quite late on because I didn't realize I actually had this. On PC, you've got to hold tab. On consoles, I'm not sure, but there will be, it will tell you in the control scheme in the options. This thing does light up the area really, really well, so use it to its full advantage because this game does get very, very dark, especially in caves and everything, so use that. Next thing, if you need to actually progress time usually before you could just press a button in Bethesda games however this time you need to either find a chair or a bed sit down on it lie down on it whatever press T for the PC and then you can actually choose how many hours you want to wait this will actually progress the game ahead that amount of hours and is actually in real time as well so as you can see as we're sitting here waiting for the time to go forward these four hours the whole world is lighting up all the NPCs are going to be doing what they're doing in their patterns and everything's going to be everything in the world's going to be doing what it's going to be doing in those time frames so really good way if you've got a timed mission like be somewhere at a certain time then you can speed up time to that point next thing really simple thing but everyone forgets to do it save 
as much as you can, especially when you're going into a new area and you're not quite sure if you're going to survive. Save, save, save. Now this guy, game is quite forgiving, but it will knock you back a fair bit if you do die, so just save as much as you can. I promise you. Fast travel, make good use of this as well. Every place that you visit becomes a solid icon on the map in your pit boy once you've actually visited a place then you can fast travel to it you can't fast travel to places that are not being visited yet by you so make sure you well you just need to be aware you've got to visit the place before you can actually fast travel to it obviously this saves you a butt load of time traveling around it doesn't mean you've got to run everywhere now so if you want to quickly transfer back to base drop all your crap off go back to exactly where you were just use the fast travel as much as you can when you're building your base, I do mention this in the other guide, but make sure you put a fast travel pad down because it just makes it easier and it just allows you to go back to exactly where you need to go in your base. Last but not least is combat. So this is quite a general tip really. First things first, use all your natural environment advantages. So these are things like bottlenecks, doors, elevation, all that kind of stuff that you would use in like the real world. If you can try and get AI to run at you single file, then do it because it's going to make your life a lot easier. Also, really, really use the VAT system as much as you can because this makes things so much easier, especially if you're using guns. It makes it so, so much easier. It slows the time down for you. So it actually allows you to think about what you're doing. You can target certain parts on your uh, enemy as well. So you can knock out their leg, arm, whatever. And it kind of gives you a bit of an advantage. There is a few skills in your perk chart as well, which actually improves your VATS um, skill. So just be unlocking these if you're using VATS quite often, because there is quite a few skills in there. That's it though, that's really all I wanted to cover in this guide. If there's anything that I've missed that you think I should include, please let me know in the comments below. That will help everyone out. But I think I've covered the main points, which is what I've tried to do. I hope this helps some of you. I know some of you are brand new to Fallout. Some of you are complete and utter pros at Fallout. But hopefully some of these tips will help you as well. But as always guys, thank you for watching. Like I said, I hope this helped. If it has, if you could leave a like, share it around to all your friends. Subscribe, all that fan doobitastic stuff. That would be awesome of you. But as always, I will leave it here and I will catch you in the next one.